Hey, this is Dean Soto with the Online Empire Academy, and I'm here with another tutorial. This time we are going to be talking about Kippert, the Keyword Inspector Keyword, sorry, sorry, the Keyword, keyword Inspector Product Research Tool. Uh, this is a tool that I use in my business. Uh, it's also one of the tool, the three tools that Keyword Inspector has. <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's uh, it's it, it basically allows you to get get a ton of data for, about different products and do a lot of research for wholesale and private label. And now in this video, I am not going to show you how I use it for my wholesale and for my drop shipping and everything like that. I actually have another training video that I'll share later on in the video. Um, it's much more for the business minded folk, for people who want to know how to use this to actually move their business forward to grow and to find wholesale vendors or private label uh, suppliers and different private label ideas, etc. cetera. Uh, and this video is gonna be for those who need to know like, like what every little column means, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit of a boring one, uh, but if you wanna get more into the business aspect, I'll share a link with you later on how to do that. All right, cool. So let's first things first go to Kippert. There is a beta version of Kippert. It's not very good yet, <laughs> so I don't go to it. I just go to this Kippert right here, K-I-P-R-T. And if you have Kippert, you'll see two things on the left-hand side, new product research and product research history. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you what the data means, okay? There's tons of different things that you can search for and tons of, uh, tons of different things you can search for, but I'm actually not going to use those yet. Okay, we're just going to search um, for what the uh, and see what the data means when you actually do a search. Okay, so first things first. Let's say uh, let's just type in something right now. Um, uh, automotive um, part. Well, yeah, I'll just do automotive. Let's just do automotive. And I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click search products, and I'm gonna pause this because it's gonna take. All right, <clears throat> cool. I had to pause it and actually uh, change up some things because if you do if you do something super super broad, it, it usually seems to break the thing because <laughs> it's going over like 80 million stuff. So I just added a, a, a little price range thing, but we're gonna talk about that in another tutorial. All right, so uh, let's go through some of the columns. Um, we have the rank column, uh, history, uh, images, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna go through all of these columns. So first things first, all of this data that's up on top here, if you click into that and then you can do the arrows left and right, you can uh, see that. I honestly have no clue what that is. Uh, I use uh, Kipper for my business, but I've never used that up there before, so I'm not sure. Um, it's obviously data, but whatever. Um, okay. So let's go through each of these columns so you know what these columns mean. And then the next tutorial, we can actually go into some other things as well. So rank, rank column is usually based off of sales volume. Okay, it's used, uh, what's selling the most. All right. Um, so uh, that's generally what that's being ranked as one, two, three, four, etc. History, you're going to see a checkbox. That means that it's carrying historical data. And you'll see, you'll see what that is later in this. Uh, any images that it finds, it's going to try and place all the images in this uh, column right here. You can actually change some things right here. It says uh, turn off secondary images but leave the main image. Um, and you can make the main image larger, uh, things like that. And any of these, if you don't want any of these, you can click this X and it'll get rid of that column. All right. So if you click into this area and go right and left, it'll move right and left. <clears throat> Okay, uh, ASIN, obviously that's the ASIN, and um, it'll actually, if you click this little icon right there, it'll open up. Now, this is interesting. I'll show you what happened, what that means when that happens. Um, uh, the, the When you click into the C on Amazon right there, um, uh, it'll open up the, the item. Okay, so sometimes what'll happen is you'll see in this particular case, Remember, this is ha this has historical data, so this is actually showing something that is no longer in existence. Um, people were buying it, but people were not really, uh, you know, it, uh, this particular ASIN, uh, they, they ended up taking off for whatever reason. And we can see maybe if we went and tried to find that product or put that product back, we'd get 170 sales per day. That usually tends to be pretty high. 
Um, so I'm thinking probably more about 80 sales per day. So, so that's what that is. ASIN, then uh, if it has a parent ASIN, it, this is the parent ASIN. So if there's any variations, uh, that uh, this is a variation of that parent ASIN. <clears throat> title, title of the item, then the brand. We'll talk about that in a later tutorial. I kind of show, uh, uh, in a later training, I'm going to show you how I use brand to my advantage. It's my one-two Kippert punch uh, training, and that I'll give you the link to uh, totally free and uh, send that to you after, after we talk about this. It'll tell you what seller it currently sees. There might be other sellers, but this is the seller that it currently saw when it went and made its pass through. Category is an automotive price. It'll give the average price or price it is as it's right now, but then you'll see this 30 day price graph and it'll show you if the price has changed and when it changed and what it changed to. Okay. If there is a graph current reviews, how many reviews there are past 30 day reviews graph. This is cool because this shows you how many reviews are being added or if any are being taken away. Okay. And usually, like, if you see a new product and you know people are doing promotions on it, it'll just be like, it'll be like a um, rising trend there. Then average daily reviews accrual, accrual, it'll tell you on average how many reviews per day this thing is getting, okay? Or losing, it'll actually show uh, if it's losing too. Uh, and then... Past 30 day accru accrual graph, you know, these might have been fake reviews or something like that. You'll see that a lot. And then rating, it'll give the overall rating. Past 30 days rating graph, it'll show you uh, over the last 30 days if it's gone up and down, etc. All right. Uh, current sales rank that it saw. It might not, okay, so this is something that's kind of confusing to people. It'll say current sales rank and someone will go into it, to it and they'll say, wait, the sales rank is now at 50 when it said it was seven. Uh, you have to understand that this is constantly going out and grabbing information and putting it into a database, going out, grabbing, going out, grabbing, and it doesn't always get there in time. Sometimes it takes a day, sometimes it takes five days, sometimes it takes a week, but um, it's, it's taking that and putting it into these huge databases. Okay, with all that data. And so sometimes it takes a while and so it might be off. Okay. Last month, sales per day average. So last month it had an average of 141 sales on this particular item. And then sales per day graph, like if it if it's been going down or up, this one looks like it's been trending down. And then sales per day weekly graph, if this uh, exists, it's just uh, week. Uh, week by week, how well it's been doing. And then you got your FBA monthly net profit. Now, a lot of people are like, wait a minute. How, it's gonna, how is it going to give me my net profit if, if uh, uh, it doesn't have my cost of goods? Well, we don't know. The, we James, the creator of this, he's not going to know what your cost of goods are. So he's just saying, what is your net after all the Amazon fees? And then you can calculate your cost of goods. Okay, so that's uh, that should say uh, FBA net profit or profit after fees and shipping and all other stuff. Okay. Also, it'll tell you how many new offers there are. New offers. Uh, if it's uh, if it's predominantly FBA or FBA uh, or a, a merchant fulfilled, uh, what class it is? Is it standard or oversized? If it is FBA, how many images? Uh, number of features, uh, which I believe is the, uh, the 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 features like the bullet point features. How much it weighs, if if it can find that information. The title length, the a like the average title length of uh, the 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 titles for. This, uh, the title, sorry, the tavern, title length for that product in characters, description length in characters. Now, what is that good for? Well, that's good if for title length, if it's too large or not enough, and especially if a description, if it's, if the description is not doing too hot, if it's like 30 characters or whatever, you know, that can be optimized, uh, not necessarily in this listing, but you can, maybe if you create a competitor, you can have a better listing. And then total key current keyword count. This is how many keywords 
for the listing. So say if we go over to the left over here and we see this right here, this right here, this is how many reverse ASIN keywords uh, it sees, uh, uh, The key, does keyword inspector see? Okay, so 3,453. 3, the less popular ones might not see as many, okay? But that's how many that uh, it currently sees. And you can click into that and it'll take you over to reverse ASIN. Keyword, current keyword count position, okay? So what this is saying is, so for example, with this right here, this 3,453, it's saying, how many keywords are in the first position or are in number one organically, number two organically, number three organically? How many are in four to eight organically and how many are eight to 17 organically? So this particular product right here ranks number one for 649 keywords. This one that, that reverse ASIN has found. This one for th uh, ranks, no it ranks number two uh, 338 times, number three 339 times, and then four to, four to eight. 890 and then 8 to 17, 1,237. And then what this right here means is off of those same numbers, off of those same numbers, uh, generally, it's going and say it's grow it's growing each of those numbers. Okay. So uh, the top being the uh, how many ranked number one, I think how many rank number two on the next and three and four, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So you can see that this one has grown over time quite a bit. Then the month first found. So this was first found in uh, 2014 on uh, July, 2014. And is this deleted? If it's deleted, yes or no. Remember that first one we went to, it was deleted. Okay. It's, it means that it was gone. It's gone. It's not even there anymore. Is that always the case? Yes. Um, uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes there's some kind of error or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's generally what that means. Okay. So that's all of the columns for Kippert. I know that was super, super, super boring, but at least you have an idea of what all those columns do. Uh, if you want to know how to use this in your business, uh, I'm going to make some other tutorials that go into more of the of next of basically what uh, what you can do with all these fields in the next tutorial. But if you want to know how to use this tool to to find private label products, find wholesale products, um, to use this in a really cool way, okay? To use this in a very, very cool way, uh, in, in my, in, for me, I, it's easy to find wholesale vendors, wholesale products to sell, um, and I call it the one-two Kippert punch. Uh, you can go to www.academytrainings.com forward slash Kippert, academytrainings.com forward slash Kippert, and that way you can learn uh, the secrets that I use to find some amazing products with Kippert, and, uh, and now that you know all, what all those columns mean, it just makes you even more able to do that, all right? So uh, until the next tutorial, when we go through some of this, go check out www.academytrainings.com forward slash Kippert, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.